Hey everybody, hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I just got back from a quilt store, brand new, that I have never been to. Well, I kind of have. Uh, oh, and my last quilt chat, I had told y'all how sick I was, and some of you wondered if I had COVID. I did not. No fever, no sore throat, just a head cold. That was it. Okay. So, but thank you for all of your kind well wishes. I appreciate that very much. So this is called Fiberworks Fabric Studio. This is the receipt. And it used to be the Cactus Queen, but the, and it's in McQueenie, Texas, which is 20 miles the other direction anyway. So the lady who used to own it, her husband passed away suddenly. And then I think the story is she just got, it got to be too much for her I, I think. And so she sold it and the new company is now called Fiberworks. It's in the exact same building for you locals. And I went in there today. Oh, it was great to see Betty, a familiar face from Scrappy Quilter, my old local quilt store that closed on me last November. So I think I have found my new local quilt store. I'm so excited. I walked in there and there's just so much there inspiration, beautiful quilts hanging on the walls. And there was a group in there doing some sewing for, they have a, um, a Lori Holt group. So everybody rolls in and they have a little classroom in the back and they bring their machines and they were just sitting there making Lori Holt quilt blocks. So different patterns and stuff. I just think it's awesome. So anyway, that was really cool to meet everybody and see them. And I really enjoyed that. And I told the owner that I would be happy to bring my video camera over there and take you guys around with me. So look forward to that in the future. She said she will give me a call. She's going to talk to her uh, co-owner and they would love to have that. So, hey, I'm popping in this insert to let you guys know I am going to be hosting a designs and machine embroidery event on January 11th. Now this is free, it's at 11 a.m. Central, and it's a 90 minute virtual little webinar, and it's all about making things in the hoop. You guys know I love to make in the hoop projects. Now, if you can't watch this, because I know a lot of you work, you can watch it for up to 48 hours afterwards. And we're just gonna learn about putting in a zipper in the hoop. There is a free little zipper pouch embroidery design that you are going to get just for attending. It's a cute little coin purse. I'm excited to see what Dime has to offer on this and Lisa is teaching it and she's a very fun instructor and I just really hope that you can join me. So it's January 11th at 11 a.m. Central and I hope to see you there. I got in the Creative Notion subscription. It came in a super cute sunflowers bag and we'll just go over that real quick, okay? And I'll show you what came in the mail. This month is all about the pattern is the sunshine wall hanging. Bright sunny yellows. And it has these laser cut adhesive felt words that would go on the quilt. And it said, the words say, some days you need to create your own sunshine. So that's really cool that you can put the felt words on your quilt if you would like. And I'll put the pattern right here up close so you can see it. Let me take it out of the package. Sunshine wall hanging. Isn't that beautiful? And you get full color instructions and templates. You can make your leaves, your applique for your leaves and all that. So great, just wonderful. And this quilt is small. It finishes at 36 inches square. So very neat. It's got three Dresden sunflowers on it. Here, let me let me show you up close. Three Dresden sunflowers. Okay. So in here, of course you get your sunflower fabrics and there is a Swedish fish, I think they're gummies, and an enamel Dresden sunflower pin. Isn't that cute? And then your fabrics, just beautiful, beautiful fabric. Oh, good, a little pair of scissors, excellent. We have giant sunflowers with little butterflies. Very, very pretty. We have a green gingham, 
smaller sunflowers and looks like it looks like little tossed leaves but they're all different colors very cute there is a pretty it's like a gray on gray beautiful just gorgeous and here are smaller sunflowers on that um, kind of a gray background gray tan background and here it is yellow on yellow sunflowers kind of an outline and then there is I can't tell if it's gray or green gingham. Probably a little bit of both. Let's call it sage. <laughs> These are beautiful fabrics. Just gorgeous. Love this. And it came with a couple of extra fabrics to put into the quilt. We have a dotty brown and a brown gingham that go in there with that. And the, the dotty brown and brown gingham make up like the centers of the Dresden sunflowers. See that? Okay. Yeah, very nice, very nice. You get, if you're gonna make Dresdens, you need a Dresden ruler, right? So you get a 30 degree Dresden ruler. Very cool. There is a pumpkin cheesecake pie recipe in here. And you get your paper that tells you everything that comes in it. I love this subscription, you guys. There's always something in here. They say the bag contents is $89. So you're definitely getting a deal on that. Sorry about that. I had to jump away. I was reading the paper that comes in the Creative Notions Quilt Shop subscription box. And... Vicki said they have kits for Lori Holt's Calico that is coming out in the end of January and I had to run and get myself one quick. <laughs> I have been waiting for a new sew along from Lori Holt because I wanted a new uh, like like I did chicken salad last year with all of the chickens and everything. So I am going to be doing Calico I'll be sewing up the blocks, trying to keep up week to week like Lori does. She said that this one, Lori did say this one is going to go on into the year a little bit because it's a pretty big quilt. It's 90 by 90. But if you decide to do this, if you want to get this, I'll link to it below to Vicki Shop. But I want to let you know the simple shapes are not included in the kit and so you need to get those as well okay so again you go to www you have to put that in there www.creativenotionsquiltshop.com and you can get the kit for the calico it looks like a little um little village i don't know if it, it they're just calling it calico garden and it says garden on it so this is the chicken salad quilt by Lori Holt. And this is the sew along I did last year in 2022. I want to show you how I made this. I'm gonna get real close right here. So each one of these is what's called a simple shape, and except for the legs. And what I would do is take the simple shape and trace around it on a piece of printer paper. And then I scanned that printer paper in to the Brother Scanning Cup, all right? And then I would use that image to cut out each piece for each chicken. And then take that digital scan and import that into a piece of software called Simply Applique. If you don't have a Windows machine because Simply Applique only runs on Windows. This will work on a Mac if you are running Parallels with a Windows OS or if you are not, you can use Embrilliance Stitch Artist 2 to do the next process. But you take that file from the Brother Scan and Cut and you import it into the software and with the click of one button, in the case of Simply Applique, it will create an embroidery design. It will create the placement line 
an embroidery applique design. It'll create the perfect placement line to put your fabric in. Then it will create the tack down line and then it will create the final blanket stitch. And I'm going to get real close and I want you to see how incredibly perfect the stitching is along the edge of the fabric. That is all from the software that does this. Every chicken is absolutely perfect. So this is how I made the chicken salad quilt. And I'm gonna do the same thing for Calico Garden and I hope you follow along with me. It's as cute as it can be. So. I had to stop the video. When I read that, I was like, because oh, we were just talking about that today in the quilt shop. But I wanted to be sure to get that. Okay, so also they included a little gift for you. And my gift was a little pair of scissors. Can never have enough. It seems I have them at every machine. My long arm, they're all over the place and I can never find them. Isn't that the way it is? Gosh. <laughs> Also, you got patterns for your garden bloom quilt and you will make Dresdens with it. So there's one pattern that comes with it. There is block of the month and there is a lotus. And if you are not inclined to make the quilt, they give you patterns to make table runners. And I just love these. I think this is just check that out. Aren't they pretty? Just beautiful. This is more my speed rather than the quilt. Definitely more my speed. I like it. They give you two different options to put it together. One of them has Dresdens running through the center and the other one has the Dresdens um, on the outsides with regular just plain panels in the center, pieces in the center. Very nice kit. Very nice. I like it. I had talked about us getting our sewing rooms, not necessarily in order. Everybody's on this big kick of you know clean and organized for January everybody does that every January uh, I would suggest you take a black trash bag and just take it around your room and get rid of the trash two things get rid of the trash and change out your calendars that's easy enough right and it doesn't have to take forever you know you can just not not something you have to pick up and go do I want to keep this no you want to go through and just, you, you know it's trash. It's ribbons you don't need anymore. It might be um, old papers that you don't need that came in a kit. It might be package wrapping, whatever. You know, you might have Christmas gift wraps still. Get rid of it. Just go through. It's absolute, you know it's trash right off the bat. Just go get that out of your sewing room and then switch out your calendars. So it was mid 2022 when I was making the She Who Sews, Jay Recker Frisch's uh, She Who Sews, the, the pretty one, the, the quilt that's above my ironing station. <laughs> What are you trying to say? So <laughs> I also got the calendar and I love this. It's on like a, feels like woven. It's a linen kind of thing and it's so cool. It is so cool. Look at this, look at the pictures that are in here. She weaves uh, biblical verses through her, uh, through her fabrics and stuff. And it's just so neat. Yeah, so I've got to get my Lori Holt chicken salad quilt calendar down because that's up there and then put this up in its place while i was at the quilt store i got pat sloan's new book holiday hoopla i had not had a chance i, I was looking for it at fat quarter shop and they were out but they had this in the rack at the quilt store so i got that and i was thumbing through it and i found the quilt for february and it's just adorable it looks like a key with the word love I thought that was so cute. So to make that, I picked up this, it looks like a little Swiss dot. It, they're very, uh, like a medium pink on white. And then I got a pink and red stripe. 
and I got for the key this red with white tiny dots and then I grabbed some fat quarters they had these coordinating fat quarters they had the red and pink this looks like almost like um, roses on that I've seen on leather so a gingham and pink and gingham red and same roses on leather looking embossed very pretty so yeah I'm gonna probably put that together probably <laughs> I hope <laughs> I didn't even you know that that uh, Lori Holt calico garden quilt I didn't I didn't know I was gonna be making that but I, I literally just the other day I was sitting around going I hope Lori Holt comes up with something I can do because <laughs> I want to use the scan and cut I'll trace around the simple shapes for those of you who are new this is how I made the chicken salad quilt so you take your simple shapes you trace around them you run that paper through the scan and cut and then you use that shape to cut your fabric and then you import that digital file from the scan and cut into simply applique software and create an embroidery design and it will embroider the placement line on your background fabric and then you would iron on your piece and then it'll do the final blanket stitch so you are automating the applique process and it's amazing and then they had this uh, pattern this is J. Michelle Watts and I guess she is a local now to our area she used to live in Arizona and now she's a local to our area but they had this quilt hanging up above the register area and I just loved it I heart TX just loved it and it's made in strips so uh, are they two then they're two and a half inch strips I think so that's awesome and you can make a great big one you can make this great big one or they have a smaller one and I would make the smaller one I think that's just awesome that one is for a 37 by 45 I heart Texas love it so that is J Michelle Watts I will link to everything here below if I can find it online and let you guys see it so I finished my candy shop this is the collectible Christmas from me time and I love it Oop. now I am putting mine together using a glue gun I tried the fabric glue I just couldn't get it to work you guys I just couldn't so glue gun turned out just fine it's holding together really good so I got that one done uh, and taken care of and as far as plaid pines y'all call me an enabler <laughs> So my 64 small trees are done and over the last two days I got the tops of 16 of my big trees done half I think that's half yeah there's 16 big trees in here this and then as soon as I finish the other ones up then I will do the uh, trunks and get them all done and then I can start piecing my columns together once again Lori Holt she puts those quilts together in columns I took the rug up off my sewing room floor I had this rug down here for the last two years I absolutely loved it but it is a main thoroughfare from our front door on into the house because this used to be a two-car garage and it got filthy between my husband and the dogs it just got filthy and it wasn't too bad until I could tell because I have a glass chair mat right in front of my desk where I you know it's easy to roll around underneath the chair mat brand new beautiful cream and gray the color that it was when I got it and the the rug is just filthy and I I know it could get cleaned up but I do have it rolled up right here next to me and it's when we have a dry day it's going outside it's going to get power washed but the big reason I wanted to get it up is I have several heavy pieces in here that roll around like my cutting table for instance and if I needed to I was trying to shoot the video for prepping for the cuties volume 2 table topper and from Kimberbell and so I rolled underneath this other light over here where I have better lighting and it, you know it wouldn't go over the edge of the carpet or the rug and I just I just pulled it out I'm like between it being dirty I look at it every day it annoys me 
and um, and then if I've got a quilt that's coming off the long arm I don't want it touching that rug right so it's coming up now my three-legged dog freaks out on tile she won't go on tile because she slips and she can't hold her balance so now I have little throw rugs dotted all the way from here to here and don't you know I had to buy another runner rug for her <laughs> Because she just stands there paralyzed. She won't move. Ugh, I see who's in charge around here. But uh, anyway, I think that's about it, guys. I don't have anything else to talk to you guys about. All right, y'all. We will talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.